now we've got a way to edit our users we're just going to create some flash messages so we give some feedback to the end user so at the moment they just redirected and they don't really know whether it failed or whether it worked or not so come over to the bootstrap documentation and i'm just going to pick some of these styles out so we've got some uh, nice looking alerts so i'm just going to grab this um, success example and then in the views i'm going to go under resources views i'm going to create a new folder and i'm going to call this partials so inside partials i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call this alerts dot blade dot php now inside of this alerts file so i'm just going to say if session success and we can just do an end if i'm going to pop in the alert success from the bootstrap and then for the text i'm just going to show the text of the of the success message so i'm going to go session success we just need the quotes around this as well and then we can do that for the other messages as well so we might have a, an error message so let's get the styling for that one maybe you want the danger one or the warning one let's go with the warning so that's just alert warning so change that to warning and then here in the session we want to check whether a warning has been passed and if it's been passed let's put the warning out so what we need to do now is we need to include this partial in all of our pages so obviously the best place to do this would be under layouts app.blade.php and then just before we yield our content out let's include our partial and we want to bring in our alert so that will bring our alerts blade view into every page but remember it's checking if a session variable has been set so it won't show until it has been so let's give our page a refresh you see we don't see anything so let's implement some of their messages so under user controller, we're doing a check first, aren't we, that we can't edit ourselves. And we're just redirecting back to the home page. So the user doesn't know why they're being redirected. So let's do a with, and we can do a warning. And we can set that warning to, you are not allowed to edit yourself. We just save that. Now if we give this a refresh, and we try and edit our admin user, you see we get the uh, the alert you are not allowed to edit yourself and we probably want to give us a bit of styling so it stays centered in the page as well but you get the idea now if we give this a refresh that message is gone so let's create some success ones as well so what we can do is we can actually just copy this down onto this method now remember i said we're going to refactor this so it's we're not copying and pasting the code and we only run it from one place uh and then on our update method here we want to do a success message so we can do success and we can say user has been updated so we're passing down the success instead of a warning and we're passing down user been updated so let's try this out in the application so we click edit and we untick user and we click update the user has been updated so this works by using the redirect method so we're doing a redirect and we're passing in with so we're redirecting back to the index page with that data but when you do a refresh you won't be going through the edit method you'd actually just be going straight to the index method and the with method doesn't have the warning anymore so that's why it disappears it's going to stick a, a container class on this um on this main attribute so the um flash messages stay within a certain pixel width so if we just take a look at this now, and you see the flash message stays within the within the grid of the application, so it looks much cleaner. So now we've got a nice way to um, create flash messages, and of course, if you want, you can add as many different styles in as you want. So in the next video, we're going to look at implementing the uh, delete method.